guys, so are you ready to dive into the world of Forex once again? If yes, in today's episode, we're gonna talk about the ask price, the bid price, the spreads, the take profits, and the stop losses. So let's start now. Imagine that you have an orange that you wanna sell, and then there is a person who comes to you that owns a business with oranges and offers you $1.50 for your orange, and then you agree to sell sell your orange at his bid price of $1.50. But this person who just bought you the orange, as he is a businessman, he wants to sell the orange at a higher price to make some profit, right? So he's gonna find someone who wants to enjoy the orange and he's gonna ask them to buy the orange for $1.75. So if the person who wants to eat the orange buys it at $1.75, the businessman makes 25 cents of profit. As you can see right here, there is a businessman in the middle that is facilitating the trade of oranges by arranging buyers and sellers and making a profit in between. That is exactly what brokers do in forex trading. They facilitate the trade of currencies by providing platform support and make a profit in between. However, in forex trading, you are able to buy and to sell currencies, unlike here that you were only able to sell sell your orange. When you sell a currency pair, you're actually selling it at the bid price that is set by the broker, similar to the orange that you sold for $1.50. And when you're buying the currency, you're actually buying it at the ask price set by the broker, similar to the person who bought the orange for $1.75. The broker profits from the difference between these prices and this is known as spreads. So in trading terms, you and the final person who bought the orange are the traders and the businessman is the broker. As you can see right here, there is parallel lines moving on the screen. So the line that is on top is the ask price line and the line that is in the bottom is the bid price line. And the ask price line will be always on top of the bid price line. And the gap between these two lines is known as the spread. So if you want to sell your currency pair, you just click here and your trade will be open at the bid price line. And in the opposite, if you want to buy, you just click here and your trade will be open at the ask price line. So if you want to close a selling position, you will actually close it at the ask price. And if you want to close a buying position, you will close it at the bid price. Now let's take a look at the stop losses and the take profits that are essential tools to be managing your risk and profits. The stop loss is a predefined level where your trade will get closed automatically if, for example, the market goes against you. It's like a safety net to limit your risk and preventing further losses. And contrary to the stop loss, the take profit is actually a predefined level where your trade will get closed as well automatically in case the market moves in your favor. That way, it will will lock in your profits. These tools help you manage risk and ensures that you don't have to monitor the market constantly. By setting up your stop loss and your take profit, you can control how much you're willing to risk and how much you're willing to lose on a trade and as well how much you're aiming to gain. So that's it guys. So everything we learned today will actually be super important for you because it makes you understand how the core of trading works and of course help you becoming an profitable trader. So if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to like, share and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next episode where we're going to talk about the pips, the lots and the leverage.